overnight, the U.S. following through on its promise, launching strikes against Iranian-backed militant groups. Officials say they hit 85 targets at seven different locations inside Iraq and Syria. These images showing the destruction. Iraqi officials say 16 people were killed and more than 25 hurt. In a statement, U.S. Central Command said the targets included command and control operations centers, rockets, missiles, and drone storage facilities that belong to the militant groups and Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps. We believe that the strikes were successful. The strikes, retaliation for the drone attack that killed three U.S. service members at Tower 22 in northeastern Jordan on January 28th. The reservist bodies returned to the U.S. Friday in a solemn ceremony attended by President Biden and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. The three service members, part of the Army's 718th Engineer Company. Officials say the strikes overnight are just the start of a wave of retaliation meant to send a message and reduce the militant group's capabilities to launch attacks. The strikes adding to fears of a wider regional conflict. Iraq's armed forces releasing a statement saying the strikes are a violation of the country's sovereignty and they threaten the security and stability across the region.